In managing healthcare information, we come across many different standards that are adopted to allow us to use and exchange health data reliably and efficiently. These standards include ICD, SNOMED, LOIAN, DICOM, HL7, OpenEHR, FIRE, just to name a few. You may get confused with the wide variety of standards and acronyms. The standards can be broadly divided into two groups, namely, clinical terminology standards and health information exchange standards. Clinical terminology standards refer to dedicated sets of vocabularies used by medical professionals on different aspects of healthcare. For example, ICD, International Classification of Diseases, is a set of terms, each with a specific code, used to specify different kinds of diseases, signs, symptoms, and so on. On the other hand, health information exchange standards refer to protocols that healthcare organizations would follow in order to enable reliable data sharing and interoperability. For example, HL7 is a standard defining the structure and content of the messages that are exchanged between healthcare organizations. The messages are divided into different components, segments, and fields according to the specifications. Health data are then formatted accordingly and transmitted over the network. But then, what is the relationship between these two types of standards? They can be regarded as two levels of standards. With health information exchange standards as a foundation for data exchange between organizations, on top of which, contents coded by clinical terminology standards are exchanged between medical professionals. Let's draw an analogy with train seat maps. The use of a seat map to arrange the seats and coaches of a train is analogous to how health information exchange standards are used to define the building blocks of a message and their locations in the message. A train seat map specifies the seats, compartments and coaches of a train. For example, first class, business class, standard class, all or window seats, and so on. Whereas HL7 messaging standard specifies which data segments contain patient identification, patient visit, diagnosis, and so on. And also the position of these data segments in the message. Healthcare organizations then format health data according to the standard so that they can accurately access the required data from a specific segment in the message received from their counterparts. In a way like passengers using seat map to locate the seats that they have reserved. So, if we consider that the exchange of healthcare information is like a train of freight cars, each carrying specific parts of health data from one hospital to another, then healthcare information exchange standards like HL7 are used to specify which cargoes of data go into which freight car. Whereas specific terminology standards are used to produce the goods of data in a specific cargo. A quick wrap up. Depending on the context and message types, appropriate clinical terminology standards are used to encode the content in a message. For example, LOIAN can be used to code laboratory orders, ICD can be used to code diagnosis and symptoms, or used for claims processing. Medical professionals can then interpret the messages according to the corresponding clinical terminology standards adopted. The standards serve as common languages to avoid ambiguity in healthcare information. Health information exchange standards, on the other hand, are used by organizations sharing the data to come up with a common data structure and hierarchy that defines what and where the information is stored in a message, which we made analogy with train seat map. The standards are supposed to be transparent to medical professionals from users' perspective.